To close out our program, we give you a special look at a new company that seeks to support the whole family. Every Life provides premium diapers and baby wipes, all while supporting parents in need and pregnancy centers. We recently sat down with the company's creative director, who shares what Every Life has been up to since it launched in July. I'm here with Kelly Crow. She's the Chief Creative Officer of Every Life Diaper Company. Kelly, thank you for being here with me today. It is a pleasure to be here. Talk to me about Every Life Diaper, Diaper Company. It's unique to other diaper companies that we know about. Talk to me about how you got your start. Well, Every Life is such a wonderful diaper company, and it is such a privilege to be a part of it. At Every Life, we believe that every baby is a miracle, and that regardless of the baby's background, the socioeconomic status, even the circumstances of conception, that every baby is a miracle from God mm. that deserves to be loved, protected, and supported. And that's what we do. That's our mission. And we are on a mission just to be a diaper company that, em that embraces life and that gives people an alternative out there, a wonderful baby brand that truly loves babies. And I think that really sets us apart. Yeah, that's beautiful. And when you were getting your start, you learned some things about Huggies, Pampers, these other big diaper brands. Talk to me about what you discovered. We did. We, we came across some things that were very disheartening, um, sobering even. Uh, when you look at diaper companies such as Huggies that is manufactured by Kimberly and Clark, you find that as early as two decades ago, they were matching employee contributions to Planned Parenthood. Mm. You look at Pampers and Loves that is manufactured by Procter & Gamble, and you find out that those two diaper companies, that organization of Procter & Gamble, is you know, actively paying for their employees to travel for abortions. Mm. Um, even the newcomers on the scene, uh, Coterie, Hello Bello, and the Honest Company, when, when Roe v. Wade was overturned, you know, they, they vocally lamented the overturning of Roe v. Wade. We just find that um, just unthinkable. Yeah. Unthinkable to think that you would advocate for the destruction of sweet, innocent life. Yeah, I'm sure it's a surprise to so many, especially because these these corporations are tasked with creating something that's so essential for babies. You know, how do you think that Huggies and these big corporations kind of got tied up with the abortion industry? How, how did that even begin? That's a really good question, and I think a lot of it is what is happening in corporate America and just the direction that we are taking in corporate America with a lot of the equity programs and just a lot of the DEI and, and things like that that is really driving corporations to make some decisions that really don't even make sense, that really are very much against even their clientele. To think that we are at a point in society where a baby company that loves babies would think that it's okay to advocate for the destruction of human life, I think, it's a, I think it has been a very um, slow but slippery slope mm. that has happened over time in America. But I think we're seeing it speed up. You know, it's really ramping up now. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are so thankful and excited and honored to be on the scene. Uh, today, we are one of the fastest growing diaper companies in America. Wow. We just launched in July, and uh, just the response has been amazing. And just yesterday, I was in the airport, and I was sitting there working before I came here to this conference. And someone said, excuse me, are you with a diaper company? And I looked up. And I said, yes. <laughs> and she said, I'm Catholic, and I just heard about the diaper company, and I am so excited. You know, I'm pregnant with my third baby, and I plan on using Every Life diapers. And it was just really encouraging to hear people begin to learn about what we're doing and yes. our mission to protect and celebrate life. And it's amazing how fast you're growing. I mean, you just started some months ago, and people yes. are already recognizing you in airports. That's yes. fantastic. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. It was um, a privilege. Yeah. So, it's clear that you guys aren't just giving moms and babies a diaper. You know, you are encouraging them to choose life and helping them in those first days, first months. Talk to me about the ways that you're really providing the essentials for moms and babies and, and families. Sure, sure. So what I will tell you is that, you know, we are so much more than a diaper and wipes company. Um, we will talk about the fact at some point that our diapers are premium. They're high performing. They are fantastic diapers. When you're looking for a great diaper, this is a great diaper. You're not going to be cutting corners on this diaper, but it's also at an affordable price point. That being said, we're so much more than a diaper company. 
we really believe that we are building a community. We are joining the larger pro-life movement and we are locking arms with all these organizations that are standing with life. And the way that we really do that is that we partner with pregnancy resource centers in urgent need. And when we find out that there is a need and someone contacts us and they are in an underserved area, we ship them diapers. We want moms. You know, one of the primary reasons that mothers choose abortion is because they're concerned about providing for their babies. Right. And we, if there's something that we can do to help with diapering, we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And we also have a Buy for a Cause program. And our, excuse me, we also have a Buy for a Cause program. And our Buy for a Cause program allows people, whether you have babies or not, to come to our website, purchase diapers for a cause, and then we will donate those diapers to the organizations of need. Mm -hmm. Most recently, we donated 140,000 diapers uh, to Maui following the wildfires. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how we want to stand in the gap. We really want to be a part of the solution. Mm, that's amazing. Um, talk to me a little bit about your team. Uh, small team, large team, just kind of, you yes. know, it, it seems like you're reaching so many people in such a short amount of time. You must have some rock stars working for you. We are a very small but nimble team <laughs> and we work very hard and I think it is our passion for what we're doing that drives us. Mm -hmm. It really multiplies our efforts. And, um, you know, we're also a part of a company called Public Square, and Public Square is sort of our holding company, and that has really sort of allowed us to enter the market with um, just sort of a gusto and sort of a foundation. Mm -hmm. And so we're very grateful to that as well. Amazing, very cool. Shifting gears a little bit, Kelly, we're here at the Sidewalk Advocates for Life Conference. There's a lot of pro-life businesses, people represented here. Um, talk to me about what it means to you to be here today. It is such an honor to be here, to be here and to listen to the stories and to see these individuals who were on the front lines of really wanting to reach the hearts of women. Mm. You know, I believe that so often it's easy for someone to look at abortion and if you're not careful you can begin to victimize the woman who has the abortion and I'm so thankful to be here among organizations who view her not as um, the enemy but they view her as the one who needs to be rescued as well mm. and I'm so grateful for that and it's been so wonderful to be here and to hear that and to see that and to listen to the stories and to see people who are so involved and are such strong advocates of life and it's been a privilege for us. It's always a boost for, for me too, to be in a place where there's so many pro-life yes. people just sharing the good work that they're doing. Um, talk to me about your plans for the future of every life. You know, you've, you've already busted out onto the scene. How do you expect that you'll grow and expand? We have great plans for expansion. And uh, you know, we, we are excited to continue to build a community because we know that that is needed in this industry. We really need a baby brand expert that is, again, more than just diapers and wipes. So we have some plans in the future. You're going to be seeing uh, a diaper pant that's going to be coming out at some wow, point okay. in the future. And so we're excited to announce that. And then we have other products that we're going to start kind of adding to the mix of our diapers and wipes because we really want to reach households and provide what they need and to give people an option to align their dollars with their values. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, these are essentials. These are baby essentials. And without a lot of alternatives and options, people are spending, you know, those of us who are pro-life find ourselves sometimes spending our hard-earned money on companies that are doing things with their dollars that we are firmly against. And so therefore, for us to continue to stand in the gap, we're gonna have to produce more products mm -hmm. because we want to give people a wonderful alternative and that's what we're gonna do. Absolutely. Kelly, before I let you go, just tell me um, so that we can let our viewers know how they can learn more about Every Life, where they can buy the diapers and, and support your cause. Yes, I'd love to. So you can go to everylife.com and there you'll find our website. I also encourage your viewers to check out our Instagram and our Facebook and our Twitter and our LinkedIn and to support us and to share us. And oh, one thing I really wanna make sure I tell you all about is uh, just recently, Bethany Hamilton joined as our brand ambassador. Wow. And it was such a blessing. We had the opportunity to spend some time with Bethany at her home as we were filming sort of some of the upcoming promotions that we're gonna be doing. 
and to realize that there are individuals like Bethany and her husband Adam and their four children who are so solidly pro-life. Mm -hmm. It's so encouraging and we're honored and we're looking forward to where we're going and we're just getting started. That's wonderful news. Well, I have loved speaking with you and you. talking about this business. I, I really admire the work that you're doing. Thank, Thank you for you. joining me today, You're Kelly. so welcome. Thank you for having us. Of course.